Hey, what's up, everybody? So it is day 14 of 31 and 31, and today I'm going to Taiwan and watching Mon 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 Monsters. Uh, it's available on Shutter right now, and uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, overall, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. It's got good gore in it. It has a pretty good story. The one thing I didn't like was the length. It's almost two hours long, and it definitely could have been cut by like a half an hour. Um, it, it just has so much like building between the characters and kind of feeling for the main character the names i am just i'm not going to get at all for this um <clears throat> the basic story is that you have uh this one student who is accused of stealing the class fees and he's being set up by some bullies in the class and so the teacher decides hey you need to you know just admit that you did it even though you might not have did it and uh, then go do community service with those guys. And so he goes and does that, and he actually builds, like, a relationship with them. And um, they find a pair of ghouls who you see at the very beginning of the movie. They capture one, and it's about what they do to her and the other ghoul trying to find the other one and the chaos that kind of ensues with everything that happens with it. So it's just, like, the first... First 20 minutes are, are good, and I think that's almost enough to kind of get you in that situation, right? When they find the ghoul, they really should start the whole, the other ghoul searches for the ghoul thing uh, almost immediately, but then it takes like another 20 minutes or so, almost to the hour mark of the movie before she really starts doing anything else. And that's where I was kind of like, oh, this, this maybe is just taking a little bit longer than it should. Um, Acting is quite good. Again, I, I don't know. I can't tell if the acting's going to be bad or whatever. You can usually tell, though, when somebody's really overacting. But I liked the main bully. I liked his girlfriend. I liked the main character, even though he's a little bit of a punk. Uh, and the wimpy aspect of being a punk. Um, and it just, like... The, the, the ghoul aspect was cool. Um, I wish they had gotten a little more into it. They kind of gave you a little bit of a backstory of what they were. But I wish there was something more... You know, even like a saving grace for them or anything like that. But there wasn't really any of that in the movie. Um, and like I said, it's just that, you know, some of the things, they just, it went went on for too long. And really, you know, you know what it's going to be. It's going to be them slowly getting picked off. And, and I was a little upset that some of the kills were just off screen. Especially when we get to the end and there's a bunch of killing that's happening. It happens off screen. Even though there's a good amount of gore in it, um, they're isn't like for major kills like there's a scene on a bus and uh you know things go crazy but most of it is from the outside you know rather than being from the inside and i kind of wish it was from the inside just to show like everything that's going on especially where the scene ends up right but a lot of it really is about our main character and him you know trying to be the good guy out of all the bad guys um, and I guess kind of redeeming himself or kind of, you know, it, it's kind of a revenge thing actually going on with them all, you know, you know, framing him for what they did before. So again, it's not bad. You know, it's, it's not like fantastic. Like, oh my God, I'm in love with this movie. And I really liked the way it started off. And then it just slowed down a lot for me. I think that's where I, I felt like it hurt a lot is where it just started getting really slow. So Overall, I'd give this a solid uh, 3 out of 5 ghoul teeth. I think that that's a good, you know, just an average movie. You know, it's fun to watch. I don't know if I'd ever watch it again unless I was doing it for something else, like a big, bigger, longer type of review, something like that. But that's not, you know, it's not something that I'm, like, interested in doing for this type of movie. Again, like, if you look, what I like about Shudder and it's available on it is that you know, definitely when you go through the website to watch the stuff versus going through, you know, the, the app is that it gives you, you know, the, the user ratings out of five skulls. And then there's also comments that go on there. And it's got a four out of five skulls. And then a lot of the more recent ones, you know, a lot of them were like three stars or three skulls. Not bad, you know. So I kind of, I think by that, I kind of knew what I was getting into. And sometimes things are rated 5 that are terrible, and sometimes they're rated 2 or, or great movies, and I just don't understand why people don't like them, but, you know, that's just the way things go. So, if you have a chance, I'd check it out if you're interested in it. Uh, I almost did this last year for the monster uh, thing, and um, 
I'm kind of glad that I waited to this year to do it. So uh, that's it for this episode. No guest stars uh, in this little uh, episode of the, the review. And we'll see you tomorrow for one of these 31 and 31 movie reviews. <laughs>